All right. Shalom. Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles. Double honor to the great millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, break a thumb to the old flag. Shalom. Shalom. Today we back. Another weekend Shabbat. So, you know, as we know, we do the late night Shabbat prophecy. You know, I got the uh, brother Yerah with me. And, uh, yeah, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for letting us get together, you know, again and uh, having the spirit on us to continue to preach and to uh, do the works of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in hopes that, you know, we, we receive a, a mighty reward, a mighty reward. And, uh, you know, we just going to jump right into it. You know, the title the title of this lesson is when the when when the creator visits his creation. Because, you know, what the scriptures say, if you can find that precept, I would say um, in him, all things were created. Speaking of Yahweh Shai, because, you know, the world you see around you, you know, it was done by the uh, the master builder that is Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you read, when you read in that second Ezra six, it say these are the times when the when the uh, creator shall visit the world, which 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 he made, man. Uh -huh. Which it 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 is going to be two sides of the coin, man. Either the Lord is going to be proud of the works that you did and give you the gift of salvation, or he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna obliterate you off of the fucking earth, man. There ain't there ain't no in between with that. That's right. You got it. This is Colossians chapter one verse sixteen. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. Mm -hmm. All things were created by him and for him. Read it again. Put some life into it. Right? It says. Say all things, man. This is Colossians <laughs> chapter one verse sixteen. For by him were all things created God. that are in heaven and that are in earth, mm -hmm. visible and invisible, mm -hmm. whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. Right. See, it's all it's all created by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, we know that Yahweh gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai did, did, did the hard work with the elect, you know, to create what you have. But now we in the times of He's about to return, man. Mm -hmm. And brothers, we got to keep this in our mind. We're going to see Yahweh Shai in, in, in our lifetime. That's right. <laughs> and that's that's a belief you have to hold on to and know that it is coming. I'm going to say it again. You're going to see Yahweh Shai in your lifetime, man. Yeah. And so when when the Lord when the Lord visits you, you know, this is partly inspired off uh Apostles to Hard Lesson when he when mm -hmm. he did when he did that word search. About being visited, so when the Lord visits yeah. you, man, what type of reward do you think you gonna have? Nope. You want to say something? Like, yeah. Nah, I'm just finished this. He yeah, says, you got all things were created by Him and for Him. Mm -hmm. You know, so what that if you really think about that, what that basically means is everything, like like in the, the movie The Lion King, you know, Mufasa talking to his son Simba, he says, everything the light touches is your kingdom. You know. I remember that vividly as a kid, man. And why does that stick with Jake more than anybody else? Is because these things are written in the scriptures. And that's what this is saying. When it says all things were created by him and for him, that means everything you see belongs to Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, that's right. Everything. Mm -hmm. And it says visible and invisible. <laughs> that means your thoughts, your ideas, you got a patent on something, that belongs to Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, it, does. <laughs> it ain't it ain't just the grass and the earth and the stars and the moon all right mm -hmm. and that that's the gravity that we were trying to send home here yeah that that the person the individual the power that's getting ready to visit this place has, has, in totality he's, he's the most powerful man okay cut the uh, cut the headlights off right but yeah man so with that being said we're gonna go into the first the first reward of when when the when the creator visits his creation is 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 to give salvation to the elect man because unlike 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 most of these people they 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 say they want the lord to return but they don't know what that means man right. because the lord returning means a lot of a lot of death for you people right but us in the spirit we know that yahweh shah returns means the start of our life man mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know, when can you get that where it says, uh, well, the scriptures say Christ, but it says when when the, uh, when Christ who who is our life. Because like yeah, like when your house shall return, that's that's when our that's when our true life begins, man. You see, because last week last week episode was last week late night Shabbat prophecy episode was brother I hate my life, but you know hey when your house shall returns, that's the beginning of your life, man. This this is when all that uh, all that trouble and tribulation and those trials that we experience on this planet Earth is uh, is rewarded. Cause you know, you know, you know, uh, GMS, GMS, uh, phrase, you gotta be comfortable with being uncomfortable, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't for no damn reason, man. Mm-hmm. There's, there's rewards behind the, 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 the suffering and the pain that we experience on a daily basis. That's right. Yeah. Right. This is Colossians chapter three, starting at verse two. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth mm-hmm. for ye are dead. And your life is hid within Hamashiach mm-hmm. and the Most High. Keep going. When Hamashiach, who is our life, yeah. shall appear, yes. then shall ye also appear with him in glory. When the anointed, who is our life, shall appear, man. Mm-hmm. This is what we're going into. When the, when the, when the creator visits his, his creation, who is our life. Yeah. And one thing I was going to say on that, I, you got to remember who the audience is here. When it says when, when Hamashiach, shall appear with him it says he shall also appear with him this is not talking about your average everyday heathen man this is talking about a specific group of people man all right those are the those are the israelites mm-hmm. that's right that's right so as an israelite you gotta you gotta put yourself in that position man imagine yourself up there with your how shot in the air man all all because Yahweh Shah, he 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 is that dude, man. You know, Jake Jake got the term. I am I am that nigga. Not not trying to call Yahweh Shah nigga, but Jake Jake has has that one in a spirit to be the one that everybody looks up to. But you can't take that title from Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah has has books of books written about him from centuries, man. You know. Right. And you know we haven't seen Yahweh Shah in the flesh, but to a certain extent, the uh, the elect feel like they know him. Yeah. You know, That's right. when you when when you read Yah, if you are the elect, when you read about Yahweh Shah, it's like you're reading about a about a old friend. Mm-hmm. So to the elect, it's, it's gonna be like a family reunion. You're gonna be familiar, like, dang, this is the dude I've been waiting on this whole time. Not not just dude, but this is my brother. This is my friend. I've been waiting on the whole time, man. Uh-huh. And hey, part part of us in this world, we have that emptiness inside us because we don't have Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. You know, scriptures say, "Peace I give you, not 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 peace that that the world can give you, but what I can give you, man." Which means that there's a different level of peace that Israelites, as a people, have when Yahweh Shai is on the scene, man. You got somewhere? Uh, so like I got to get back to it. No, you all right? I had some uh, in the word visit. Yeah, go ahead, bring that out. I think one of the first ones was in uh, Psalms. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah. And we gonna we gonna do the a uh, similar word search to what the Apostle Tahar did in his lesson. His brother going he gonna uh, search the word visit, and we gonna we gonna get some uh, precepts on that. Okay. So this is the first one that came. The mind for me is the Psalm 59 and 5, speaking on the inverse of this visitation. If we talk about the visitation on the Israelites and how that impacts us, but the, the visitation is global. All right. There's an implication on what's going to happen to these heathen and the wicked. This is Psalm 59 and 5. Thou therefore, O Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shad, power of hosts, God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Mm. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. <laughs> it's a lie. All right. So when you think about that word visit, it's one of the most associated words with the most high, because one of the most frequent events spoken about is the day of the Lord. And that's basically the visitation. You know, that that, that that's the culmination of the of the all 12 parts, all the history you ever heard. 
you know, all all of the uh, uh, the prophecies. It all ends basically in this time that we're in right now. This is the visitation. That's why that word is so important. Yeah, yeah. And as we say, this is this is a uh, this is a visit that a lot of people don't want, man. Because mm -hmm. when you read Revelation one, it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds." And all the kindreds of the world shall well because of him, man. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a lot of, as we say it, man, a lot of death and a lot of hell is going to be associated with Yahweh shall return to this earth, man. That's right. Which these these people, whether they, because we we know they don't they don't know shit, but subconsciously, that's why these people are more and more wicked, man. Because the Lord is is, is building up. These demons on these people to act out this wickedness because he about to end all this shit, man. That's why you got wild ass uh, niggas running the world, man. That's why you got all these sexual deviants. Yep. <laughs> you see, every 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 bitch that work a nine to five can now be a fucking porn star thanks to OnlyFans. That's the Lord doing this thing, man. Yep. So these demons can get can get amplified, which is going to end up in these people's destruction, man. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You got, you got some more? Come on, this is the... Uh, Psalms 89 and 32, it says, Then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Mm. Right? So, <laughs> so that's part of the visit. Ooh. This is part of the visit. That's going to be... Look, listen, that's going to be blessings being handed out during the visit. There's going to be ass whooping handed out during Damn. the visit. Damn. Death being handed out. That's the right. Lord, this the scriptures say we not even gonna be able to believe it, damn. and we got way more faith than you people. Yeah, and we gonna be like, damn. <laughs> yeah, the Lord is really doing all of this in the earth. Damn. Can you imagine what you people are about to face, man? Y'all have no idea. You got people walking around think the Most High don't exist. Yeah, or, or thinking that he's some some white nigga in the cloud that just he's just a forgiveness ATM. You ain't gotta have no <laughs> no work. Right. You just go ATM. to him and just let me get some more forgiveness, Lord. That's how they think of the Most High. They have no idea, man. Yep. No idea, like the brother said. That's true. Can you read that one more time? Kind. This is Psalms chapter 89, verse 32. Then will I visit their transgression with the rod mm -hmm. and their iniquity with stripes. See, with the rod, man. Hey, you know, the rod stands for correction, but the ultimate rod y'all niggas going to get visit with is them ICBMs, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the rise of the most high. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's not right. to be able to win shit, but hey, it, that's how it's coming because, like you say, a ride, a ride resembles correction, right? And you see, when it comes with Jake, the most high tired of putting niggas in slavery. Let's just be honest. That's why, that's why you have the new covenant now. But before you get to the new covenant, you have to do a mass deletions of blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans on this planet Earth, man. Yeah, yeah. Because Jake has done a completion. Think about the number seven. This is our seventh captivity. Yeah. <laughs> Jake has done a completion of rebellion, man. Yeah. <laughs> seven yeah. times. Yeah. Or right, he went to Egypt. We went to Assyria. We went to Babylon. We went to Greek, uh, Greece. We went to uh, to Rome. All right. And now we uh, and now we're back in this captivity. Three. You know, Persia too. I forgot Persia. So that's seven. Mm -hmm. This is the seventh time the Lord has had to correct you, niggas, man. Right. What do you think this visitation is going to look like? It's not going to be no no uh uh no no heathen, you know, uh making you go yeah. uh, do manual labor. No. Right. Pick that kind. Y'all nah. y'all getting visited with teeth of wild beasts, apparitions. Yep. Okay? Y'all are going to get plagued here, pestilence. Right. And then you're going to get hit with the missiles. Yeah, yeah, cuz this time the Lord <laughs> himself is about to intervene and and do and do the judgment. Cuz in the past times, the Lord will set up another heathen nation to uh to afflict us. Right. But now right. this time you say, you know what? I'm about to handle these niggas myself, man. Right. And this is the time where he's allowed. <laughs> notice all the technology we got right now. It just happened in the last 150 years. Or so. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord has allowed the rod, the, 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 the level of punishment Esau can put on you is so high now. <laughs> it ain't going to compare to no other captivity we've ever had, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Esau's yeah. got plenty of ways to fuck you up because that's that's pretty much the purpose that the Lord created him for. Yep. I got scripture. Fine. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse nine. It say they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him mm -hmm. for grace and mercy is to his saints. And he and he had care for his elect. 
you see, it's a, but it say, as such as be faithful and love shall abide with him, mm -hmm. which means, you know, abide, which pretty much means you're going to live. You're going to dwell, dwell, dwell amongst them. Right. And that's, that's going to be the gift of the elect, man. Yeah. Because, you know, obviously, you know, being with Yahweh Shai, that's, that's, that, that's where we want to be. But, you know, our, our first, our first introduction to our savior is, 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 is on them ships, man. And as the scriptures say, we we shall meet the Lord in the air, and and forever shall we be with the Lord, man. Yeah. Because there ain't no more losing our identity after that. There ain't no more pain, no more tears. You know, we are gonna get that in Revelation twenty one towards the end, man. Mm -hmm. But to be able to abide with Yahweh Shah in the time when he's most pissed off, man, you gonna you gonna you on the water, and you gonna say a salaki again in case if there's anything you ain't repented on, cause you gonna be just so grateful to be in that position, man. Yeah, that's right, brother. It say, "Wisdom of Solomon three verse nine: They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with Him. For grace and mercy is to His saints, and He had care for His elect. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, mm -hmm. which have neglected the righteous and." And forsaken the Lord. Yeah, and you you don't it don't sound heavy right there, but when you think about it, it says to their own imaginations, man. There there's some wicked imaginations on these people. Yeah, kind of. Some of the wicked, especially here in Kansas City, man. Yeah. Some of the wickedest weirdos. That's by by your own bugged out, psycho mind. That's how the Lord gonna judge you, man. You know. The Lord also says He's gonna bring your worst fears upon you. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all are in a spirit of mockery of the Most High. That's huh. what that's what the Olympics was about. Yeah, yeah. Open yeah. rebellion and mockery. That's the yeah. spirit, basically. That's well, how do you wicked. think this got popular? How do you think they they thought that was a good idea to air that? Because right. y'all are already on that, man. Kind. Yep. In y'all spirit, y'all are with this shit. Kind. Wisdom of Solomon three verse ten. But the young godly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture. He is miserable, and their hope is is vain. Their labors, their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. Man, so yeah, before you actually meet Yahweh Shai Himself, He's gonna spiritually visit you by fucking your life up, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's why a lot of you motherfuckers is depressed. A lot of you motherfuckers hate your life in mm -hmm. like in like the worst way, in like the fucking suicidal way. You know, a lot of y'all motherfuckers is. Is 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 acting out, is acting out your uh your 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 internal sorrow and pain through uh reveling, partying, drugs, sex, and rock and roll, man. Yeah. Which is really ended up making you feel worse. Yeah. See, how shot is 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 draining the world of all hope and and uh and morale until he shows up to fucking obliterate you, man. Right. Because one thing in sports, the worst thing to do is to get blown out and niggas keep scoring on you. <laughs> yeah. And that's what yeah, the Lord yeah. doing. Yeah. You know, you already down 50 in the first half. Niggas will come right. out and play harder. That's what the Lord doing. The Lord shitting on you fucking people, man. Yeah. Yeah. There's even a rule like in the NBA where if they out, <laughs> if they're up by a certain amount of points and it's like five or 10 seconds left, yeah. <laughs> you know, the team that's already up, they don't shoot the shot. You know, yeah. they just let the time. They just let the time run out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you had a couple incidences a few seasons ago where nigga was did it at the last few seconds. He just dunked it on him, <laughs> and everybody got mad, man. Yeah. Why? Because that's salt in the wound. Yep. <laughs> you know, that, that, there's an unwritten rule that you you don't do that, but and that's what the Lord getting ready to do to y'all. Yeah, that's right. They say wisdom of Solomon three verse eleven: For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Their labels are unprofitable and their slack it. Their labels unfruitful and their works unprofitable. Their wives are foolish and their children wicked. Their offspring is cursed. You see? <laughs> Lord showing how how, yeah. how much he fucking you people up, man. Mm -hmm. He said their wives are foolish, their children wicked, their offspring is cursed. Wherefore blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which had not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. Now, it ain't speaking of an actual woman. It's speaking of people that 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 do not divert from the Lord, man. The same way in Revelation when it speaks of those of those virgins. So I'm gonna read it again. It said, "Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled." Right? We not undefiled with with black culture. 
We not we are we not defiled with black culture. We not defiled with Islam. We not defiled in uh in Christianity, man. We had it with that we had his faith and hope in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and and hopes that you know it takes us to the end. But it say wherefore bliss is a barren that is undefiled, which have not known the sinful bed, she shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. And bless is a eunuch which with his hands have not wrought no iniquity, nor imagined wicked things against the Most High. For unto him shall be given the special gift of faith, which is what we have, man. You say, unto him shall be given the special gift of faith and the inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. And then the scriptures say that, you know, he that overcome will I will I will I make a pillar in my temple? In the Lord's temple, there's 144,000 uh, pillars, man, which is which are the men. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try. It's, it's a few more verses for again, man. We're going to keep going. Uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3, verse 15, it says, For glorious is the fruit of is the fruit of good labors. And this is what we're doing now. This is a good labor. Right. Not just getting on videos, going to camp, but, hey, lifting each other's spirits up, man. Yeah, glory. That's that's true glory. Because I, I think about what's going on right now, the Olympics. You you win a so-called Olymp Olympic medal. That's glory. Like Simone Biles. All right, shout out to the sister. She got a gold medal yesterday, right? That's glory, but that's according to this world. A world the Lord is getting ready to utterly fuck up, man. You know? And and it's hard for people to believe, but the, the, the real true glory that you get is what the brother just read right there, man. That's right. Doing the doing the work of the heavenly Father, man. That's how inverse we are from the from the rest of this world. Mm -hmm. You know, wisdom of Solomon three verse fifteen. For glorious is the fruit of good labors, and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. Which we know eventually Jake is going to be perfect in the kingdom, but on that first go around, on when when you need mercy the most, you niggas not going to find it, man. You're not going to enter into perfection. The Lord is going to find your spirit corrupt, and he's going to judge you like, like, like the corrupt individual you are, man. They say, as for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. The seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. For though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope. <laughs> Neither comfort in the day of trial, man. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. That's right, man. The comfort in the day of trial. Yeah. When you how about Shemiah Shah, he got a list of everybody. Mm -hmm. Like fucking Santa Claus. Naughtiness, yeah. naughty list, nice list, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and when they say it come quick, you know, you think about those people, they they gonna be oblivious that they literally see those those lights coming across the sky, those missiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. And and when you see that man, there is no hope. That's right. Once you once you look up and you see the, all of those are nukes. Yep. <laughs> Can't escape. They re they really launched them bitches, man. Yeah, yeah. Or you <laughs> that that's called hopelessness right there. Kind, kind. Or you see that big ass chariot with your house shine on it above your oh, ass. Yeah. And you see you know righteous brothers getting beamed up and your ass stuck. Right, right. You are gonna see people going up or the missiles, <laughs> you know, coming in. Kind, kind. Yeah. I'm gonna read it again. Wisdom of Solomon three. Verse uh, 17, it says, For though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, mm -hmm. neither comfort in the day of trial. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. That's right, man. <laughs> the, it, look, it's basically a repeat of what the Lord did in Egypt, man. Okay. He hit them with plague after plague after plague, man. Okay. I mean, after the first plague and then the second plague followed, you feel started feeling hopeless right there, man. Yeah. All right. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's not just hitting you with the plagues, with pain and suffering, but he's going to remove your, the, the hope out of you, man. <laughs> this, this is going to be a total perfect judgment, man. Yeah. And it makes sense because this is the wickedest nation I've ever witnessed, man. Yeah. Throughout yeah. anything I've ever read in history to what I'm witnessing right now. Yep. Th this is the wickedest shit ever, man. Yeah. Yeah, it, the, the, the judgment is going to be beyond what I can even believe. Yeah. And that that one liner just sums it up in general, man. That wisdom of Solomon three verse 19 is say for horrible is the end of uh, of the unrighteous generation. 
horrible. Do you do you <laughs> think you live in a amongst a unrighteous generation, man? Like I say, every, uh, every regular regular day, women are turned to fucking porn stars and thoughts due to OnlyFans. Yep. Niggas, niggas doing more than just weed. Niggas on coke, ecstasy, lean, Percocet, yep. Xanax. Ex, you know, like nigga, what, what? When do y'all get tired of this shit? You know, we just seen the fucking uh, the grown ass nigga beat up the bitch in fucking the Olympics. Y'all niggas ain't tired of this shit, man. <laughs> shit. <laughs> but hey, the Lord is about to visit. You know it's and, a, and you know what? That's a good sign. As vexing as that might be, that's a good sign, brother. Yeah. That's how because that means we're close to this thing, man. That yeah. vision is close. There's no way this has got another ten years. Yeah, no. Absolutely. Lord's Absolutely not. not, man. Yeah. <laughs> how how much worse can this shit get? Yeah. You know? People people are taking out four interest interest payments on, on groceries now you think this is gonna go on for years hell no man right lord's will yeah lord's will it soon you got something like yeah i'm gonna uh bring up his proverbs just lock your uh proverbs 19 and 23 it says the fear of the lord jehovah tended to life and he that hath it shall abide satisfied he shall not be visited with evil. All right. So this is the parallel of what's going on during this visitation. We went into the judgment and everything that's going to be going on. But there's going to be a remnant of men that are not going to be visited with evil. Why? Because we fear the Lord. <laughs> you see, we came into the fold now, man. We, we, we looked out into the world and said, this place is wicked. All right. The scriptures are the, the, the prophecies are correct and true, man. And because we did that early, we're gonna be, we're gonna be insulated from the evil that's to come. Yeah. In the day of the Lord. Get that definition of insulated since you just mentioned it. God. That's really what it is, man. Because we always, you know, one of the one of the, the brother Yawasat, one of his favorite subjects is how the Lord gonna take care of us during the time of trouble. Yep. And that's, I mean, you can pretty much boil this lesson down to that, but we going into the. Uh, to the to the dual balance of judgment yep. when the Lord visits, man, because it's going to be the best day in your life for some, and it's going to be the worst day in your life for some, man. Mm -hmm. You got that? It says insulated, protected mm -hmm. by interposing material mm -hmm. that prevents the loss of heat or intrusion of sound. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> you can think about insulation. Think about the three holy children, right? Yeah, you know they were literally in a, a furnace seven times hotter than normal. And they had not even the smell of smoke on them, man. That's a hell of an insulation right there. Yeah. It's spiritual. It's a supernatural inter intervention. Okay. But we're going to be insulated from the all of the troubles and the dangers of the world, man. That's written in Job. That's written in Isaiah. You know? That's right. About how we're going to be, quote, unquote, insulated from all of the evil that's getting ready to take place. Okay. Can you get Second Corinthians 5, verse 8? Okay. And read to verse 11? Okay. Okay. Because when we mentioned that... uh. And that wisdom of Solomon three, that was a bad boy. It mentioned, uh, mentioned the the, the table of judgment. Second Corinthians five eight. Yep, Second Corinthians chapter five verse eight. This is Second Corinthians chapter five verse eight. For we, it says, we are confident. I say, and willing, rather than to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Keep going. You gonna read to verse eleven. Kind. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. See, you may be accepted of him. Not accepted of niggas in the world, man. Not accepted to these loose ass bitches, man. Not accepted to your family, your boss, your job. See what I'm saying? Cause what, what we doing? We sitting here in the we sitting here in the park. <laughs> it's dark. You got some bad bitches walking by and shit. But we ain't worried about being accepted of these people. Yeah. We doing his work to be accepted of the Lord. And I'm going to claim that too. Right? <laughs> right, I'm sorry yeah, on that, but I saw that you. behind me. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but like I say, we, we ain't, we don't, not only do we just do the, not only doing the work, but in life in general, we don't do this for the acceptance of men. Mm -hmm. We do this for the acceptance of Yahweh Bashim Shah because we know that with the Lord comes a reward, man. That's right. You know? Cause niggas, niggas trying, 
25 years to be accepted of they, of they fucking baby mama, and the bitch still hate him, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That nigga who worked at Burger King all his life, he was trying to be accepted, and they gave that nigga a gift card for his 25 years. I don't... I, hey, I'll never forget I'm that. I'm pissed off. I'm gonna be bad. I will forever shit. bring that up, man. Because that means there. Because you know, it ain't it ain't shit coming for you, niggas, man. It ain't nothing out there for you outside of your how about shit, man? Yeah. Go right. ahead. I'm gonna read it again. Yeah, Second Corinthians nine. chapter five, verse nine. Wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. Mm-hmm. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach. Mm-hmm. That everyone may receive the things done in his body mm-hmm. according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Break that down. And so basically, we all, everything you niggas have been talking about, all the shit you've been talking, every scoffer, everything has been recorded, man. It says it right here for we must all uh, appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. So when the Lord gets back, the judgment that's getting ready to take place is going to take into account everything, man. Yep. All right, this is a totality. This is a what you call a total correction. <laughs> All right, there ain't gonna be no more kingdom. There ain't gonna be no more nations ruling after this. All of the judgment and the wickedness of the world is getting paid back right now in this time. Sure. And it says, "But we are made manifest unto the Most High." All right, and I trust also made manifest Salakia. It says that everyone may receive the things done in his body mm-hmm. according to that he hath done mm-hmm. whether it be good or bad Oof. all right Oof. so if you look you ain't gonna be able to negotiate with the most high yeah. if you did bad and you didn't repent when it's too late what ain't, ain't nothing to talk about man yep you did bad you got to get the judgment of that man yep and this is why we we go out in the highways and byways we do videos mm-hmm. to warn and to preach man and what do y'all do y'all rebel you ignore it you shrug your shoulder. Some of you even mock, man. Mm-hmm. And so when the Lord comes back to to, to correct you, niggas, like, listen, man, this visit ain't gonna yeah. be nothing like you ain't ever seen. Nah, before. nigga, <laughs> they saying your grandma coming through, right? <laughs> you know, grandma well, coming through so, all the gifts and shit. And, and, the, and see, the thing is, you ain't gonna be at the gaslight like you could do us. The Lord knows the record is already. He knows it, man. So so everything, every idle word, every thought. All, yep. all of that's getting paid back, man. Yep. Exactly. That's why we move with the fear of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping the Lord accepts my sacrifice. Wow. You know? Mm-hmm. Read verse 10 again. This is Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, where we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Mm-hmm. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Mm, the terror of the Lord. The right. terror, the, the evil side. Yeah. You know, when evil just goes in the bad time, that don't mean like no, you know, satanic or what, you know, not. But, hey, the most high, he is evil. He is good and he is evil, man. Yeah, he created Satan. But guess <laughs> what? We emphasize the evil to, to get niggas right, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because if all you do is talk, you know, all you do in the... In your ministry, you talk about how many, how many wives and kids you gonna have in the kingdom. Well, where where is the fear of the Lord, man? Right. Because Jake, I mean, obviously we want to meditate on the kingdom, but shit, we want to avoid the judgment, man. You want to avoid the pain that's about to be felt upon this world because when the Lord brings pain, it's the type of pain niggas ain't never felt, man. <laughs> man. Yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be enough to make you what do you say weep and gnash of teeth, man. Yeah, that that's that's that pain hurt worse than your baby mama leaving you, nigga. Yeah, that hurt that hurt worse than you know whatever bullshit you had in this world. When yeah. when the Lord Supreme Almighty Power touches you, yeah, finito, man. Yeah, because we're going to the point where now where the Lord's about to show His face where these supernatural things are about to start occurring again. It doesn't. You niggas believe in science, you know. <laughs> you you think the the Earth is, Goofy. you know, however many billion years old. You you, you listen to Esau, Goofy. and so you the concept of the Lord doing supernatural things like like making a, a apparition appear, fuck your ass up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's far fetched to you. Yep. 
But yeah. the Lord is getting ready to when he shows up, he's gonna show you ain't nothing out of his out of his reach, man. Yeah. He can literally make anything happen. I created it. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, and that's the spirit because Apostle Hard did go into that. He went into the apparitions that appeared in Egypt yeah. and how they gonna visit these places. And but the scriptures say it called it monstrous apparitions. Yeah. Because you know, you got them things that's called like shadow people that come in like humanoid forms. You niggas about to see some monsters ink shit, man. Right. <laughs> the Lord gonna spawn them in like a video game. They gonna just gonna you be walking outside. The next thing you know, motherfucker gonna be behind you. Yeah, motherfucker just pop up. Where you come from? <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and that and that's 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 because there's so much pride built up in this place, man. That not only is there a lack of the fear of the Lord, there's just it's just reeking of pride, man. Yeah. And man. the Lord hates pride. Yeah, man. So it's gonna be an extra. You know, he gonna put a little. <laughs> yep. More English on it, you know. Yep. That's it on that. You got something? Because I got one more for you. Paul. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Revelation 21, verse 1. Okay. We're going to read through verse 4. We actually going to end it, end it off on this. Okay. Because, you know, in all things said and done, like, you know, like we say, this lesson is is is, is two-sided. You know, we, we pushing the, the, the pain of the Lord, but we also want to also push that comfort, man. Because we know brothers is, brothers is really struggling. You know, with their situations, even 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 when life is good, you still struggle. Cause why? Cause we in we in fucking America, man. You see, you you haven't not only just situations you got to deal with, but uh, loved ones and, and close members. You know, cause it ain't it ain't fun having 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 to lend your own parents money. They they supposed to be giving you an inheritance. They supposed to be hooking up too. You know, it ain't it ain't it ain't fun seeing seeing brothers struggle, man. Right. Brothers going through it. Brothers, brothers need help. You know, not not saying that we don't want to help, but dang, you know, when you when you get a text saying a brother in the jam, can we can we do whoop de woo? You be want to pray for that man because you know it, it it it's a serious situation when a man reaches out to the body. Yeah, you know, because yeah. Jake Jake gonna have to they, Jake gonna do whatever they can do to help their situation. Yeah. But when it gets to a point where a brother gotta reach out and and as you you know a brother's struggling, man. Yeah. And that, and, the, and the beyond, that's proof that this thing is a body, because otherwise, the brother would we wouldn't feel this pressure from other when other brothers have situations. Yeah, yeah that yeah. proves that we're one. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And and you know we respond in kind, man. You know when the foot when the foot hurts, you know it affects everything, man. Yeah. All of the nerves, it goes all the way up to the brain. M multiple things are impacted by it. Yeah. You know. And so when you know brothers go through it, that's that's how you know. That's right. You, you can read that. This is uh, you know, Revelation 21. Stuff. Yeah, tr Revelation chapter 21. Uh, 1 through 4. This is Revelation chapter 21. Chapter 1. It's a lot here. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the heaven and the earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Which, which we understand this is speaking of the new rulership that's about to be implanted here on this uh, planet Earth. That mm -hmm. being the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which is the kingdom of the Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Mm -hmm. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, mm -hmm. and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them mm -hmm. and be their power. Yep, kind. And I'm going to read that Revelation 3, verse 9 again we read earlier. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For mm -hmm. grace and mercy is to his saints, and he care for his elect. So, yeah, with that, with that brother read, you know, in that Revelation, tabernacle of the lord is with men and he will dwell with them you see now the most high dwelling with us obviously we're gonna have yahweh shy around amongst us we kicking it partying and fucking uppercutting edomite's heads off yeah. but it's more it's more about getting those getting those law statutes and commandments written written in you man that's when you have the most high dwelling inside you why because you can't commit iniquity you can't go off you just you just pure at that point which scripture say we shall be likened unto angels because yeah. we're going to have that, have that full, perfect 
mind, body, and soul, man. Yeah. That's that's the second covenant. Yeah. Okay. You right. can finish it off. Read verse 3 one more time. This is Revelation chapter 23, chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, mm -hmm. and he will dwell with them, mm -hmm. and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them, mm -hmm. and be their power. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that's basically, that's like the finito story right there, man. Yeah. Once, once that event occurs, man, there's no more suffering. There's no more pain pursuing Isaiah 25. I will wipe away all, all victory. I will swallow up death and victory. That's that's what happens right after that part, man. We basically come down in our in our glory, and we're going to be literally the temple of the Most High. The Most High is going to be in us, man, like the brother said. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Read verse 4. Okay. Verse 4, it says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So like it. David. And it says, and there shall be no more death, nor sor neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, mm -hmm. for the former things are passed away. Right. And we, not only do we <laughs> want that for ourselves, but you want that for your children and for your family and future generations, man. Yeah. Getting getting these curses lifted off of you, man. Yeah. Because shit, just, just knowing you have curses in itself is a mental tax, man. Because, you know, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be some bullshit that pop up. You know, even on your best days, you 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 know in the back of your mind, I'm about to get fucked up for this. <laughs> you know, you having fun you know shit. You know, you Jake doing shit, spending money. Uh -huh. In the back of your mind, you like, you know, Satan around the corner ready to fuck me up for this. Hey, because that's because we ain't perfect yet, man. But when we when we get your house shy in our life, that is when we become perfect. That is when not only us as a people, but the world in general becomes perfect. Why? Because the Israelites are in rulership. The heathen are in subjection. The world is being ran by the law, statutes, commandments. That's perfection on earth coming through perfection in us, which comes through perfection in Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Man. You got anything else? I should uh, close it out. Time. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. Giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due. To Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Now, by honor, said the elder and the pastor, the great most on who will well. Shalom, Kwame Asherah. Kwame Asherah, Shalom.